Before I go on, I, I just want to say that my experience with Korean Air was nothing but amazing. I just wanted to let you know what it's like to travel in 2021. So before, before boarding, um, it depends on the country that you're visiting, but you are asked to get your PCR test done at a certified lab and you need to get your results printed and you need to do this I think 72 hours before your flight. And I did this in Vancouver, and I also did this in Seoul before boarding my flight from Incheon to Vancouver. When you, when you arrive, um, each airport has different way of handling this. So for example, for Vancouver airport, they asked for my PCR report. Um, they would check it at the arrivals. But for Korea, I had to, they were doing temperature checks on all the all of the passengers they were asking us to download a, a app that tracks you um, that has your personal information you put down your where you're going to be living where you're going to be staying um, if you're quarantining you would have to log your quarantine in the morning and at night for two weeks when i actually landed in seoul i was going through six different steps of checks and filters that I was like, yo, this is intense. Like 2021 traveling isn't really fun. Once I landed in Korea, they asked me to take the PCR test again. And for Canada, when I landed, when I showed my proof of vaccination through ArriveCan, which is an app that they use to, um, to submit my information before my flight, um, I didn't have to quarantine at all. I just went home. Um, they asked me to monitor my symptoms and that's it. Also, each PCR test in Vancouver, uh, it ranges in price depending on the clinic that you go to. But the one that I went to costed me $230. And PCR test in Korea was roughly around $110 Canadian. Traveling during the pandemic, is more costly it's more uncomfortable because of the masks and everything and also logistically it's it gives you anxiety like when i'm i when i was leaving korea i i went out to hang out with my friends right um like if, if you just see this tag above here i went around places in korea and the, the cases were spiking so i was very anxious I was so nervous. I went to go get my PCR test done. I kind of felt like I kind of had a, you know, uh, sore throat, you know, a little bit of a headache. I didn't, but I just felt like I had because there was just so much pressure that if I didn't pass this PCR test, I might have to stay in Seoul for longer. That means I would have to tell my manager like, hey, I cannot come in for work because I caught COVID in Seoul. They're gonna be like, what you know it's just gonna cause so much shit and everything so i'll be coming back with a very interesting but also very personal video next week
Thanks. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.